camera's going to die so I'm going to do a really quick video about how I'm feeling because everyone's doing it and you probably care to some extent or you don't and you want escapism so you're not going to watch the video either way it's cool with me um <clears throat> it's weird someone do you know what I've been sending this to everyone because I really relate let me find it yes so it was a quote from <coughs> it was a tweet from grace f victory which is an amazing um, um blogger who you should follow said um i said to my therapist a few days ago that i feel weirdly calm with all this coronavirus stuff everyone's panicking i'm not and it's making me think i should and he replied that's because you were raised in chaos and you feel so at home i fucking screamed and honestly <sighs> same like it's been really weird like i don't feel worried or scared about um about what's been going on um i think i'm more worried about the way people are acting and how people are taking it and more just kind of like are people just gonna start acting mad and doing up riots and stuff in the street pardon me kind of unless you're writing against the government and the way they've handled the situation and the way certain corporations with millions and billions of pounds have been having the situation um then i don't want to see it because i don't want people just writing for the sake of writing because they're angry and they're fed up and they want to go out and they want to rebel they need to be rebelling against something that's actually worth rebelling against if that makes sense um so it's been weird i haven't been feeling like worried or like scared or anything i've just been feeling a bit like i think just confused by people's reactions and the way they're handling this and that like relax yes we have to be indoors yes you have to wash your hands it's gonna be okay and I think a lot of people's frustration and annoyance and anger probably becomes from them hopefully them being sensible and kind of seeing people frivolously not be sensible and not take it seriously and causing more people's death as a result um and I completely understand that but continually shouting at them I don't know if that will actually help or do anything measures have to be put in place by the government to just literally restrict people until they understand I mean I think that's why I some people are angry in that kind of things are going to keep closing like parks and um just essential things that you need for kind of your mental wealth well-being and lots of people rely on are going to be closed because people don't know how to listen to instructions and the kind of everyone's got this mentality where they're only looking out for themselves that's why people are over buying toilet paper and essentials in the shop because people don't care about other people and so it can feel like the only way to get them to care is to either shout at them or to just close those things but then it ruins it for everyone else that was being sensible so yeah I don't know I think I'm feeling a little bit confused more than anything and I mean I like staying in my house so this gives me more excuse to stay in my house which is not really good because I should go out and I should you know get fresh air and engage with people and stuff but this is like a complete opposite of like what <laughs> they recommend you do when you like that and that you should go out and do all those things but now everything's saying stay indoors so I like it and I'm really happy I mean I'm quite lucky and happy that I have a home of my own and one that I've built and curated the energy in and that has all the things that I like and that make me happy and so that helps me want to stay and be at home I think for a lot of people especially people that kind of deal with domestic violence or that are maybe maybe in the closet and things like that this is probably a really scary and awful awful time and so there's probably a lot of anger from if you guys are just sensible we don't have to be stuck in these terrible situations any longer so get your act together i think that's the main thing i'm thinking is just people need to get their act together and start being sensible and start thinking about other people rather than just themselves um i think i'm not scared that i'm gonna get it because i'm sensible and if i do get it i'll look after myself and stay with people and stuff like that so i think it's like i think people that are scared are people that no, that's that's a general that's a sweeping generalization but sometimes it can feel like the people that are the most scared the people that aren't sensible are not taking it seriously and that's why they're worried because they're not going to do anything to change their behavior so they're like oh my god i'm probably going to get it um but it's just the it's the irresponsibility of it all the way um and it's just really funny because you know there's so many organizations that said no oh, you can't work from home like you have to go in you have to do this and now all of a sudden they're gonna have to manage and so i'm just wondering again when this is all over um or what are these what are the company's reasonings going to be for them telling people they can't work from home for more than one day a week because some people some companies will really get in their feelings and be like oh more than one day a week are you sure how, how are we gonna cope how are we gonna do this and now look now look hmm? <sighs> i mean i've been spending a lot of um, my free time watching nollywood movies and getting back into that i don't know why but i've just been really enjoying it and i don't know 
I I would recommend watching Nollywood movies if you want a true, true, true escape because I think <laughs> I think there's an element of the kind of the things that they worry about in Nollywood films sometimes can be so trivial about oh is this guy cheating on me or blah 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 that it's really nice to just be worried about that for two hours while you watch this film then think about kind of the calamity that is facing the world and kind of how certain politicians and certain governments and just certain people are not doing enough to protect each other um i think it's showing true colors for certain corporations that aren't doing enough to help each other not help each other sorry help the its workers and the society at large i think yeah a lot of people are saying this is an awakening this will be um a, a site for change things won't be the same after this but i don't know i don't know if i'm cynical or not but i think things will I don't, I don't know why these corporations will change. I think unless people's behaviours change to these corporations, so they're not spending money with them, they are campaigning actively against them rather than just clapping outside. I mean, that clapping outside thing was really nice. I didn't think the whole nation would actually do it. People were actually doing it. I think it was nice, but I'm just like, okay, fabulous. Can you do that, but also sign petitions and get on the street to make sure these workers are paid more than nine pounds an hour, paid what they deserve. In fact, paid even more because they're doing the most for us to keep us alive. You know, and I just think, why would these corporations change if they don't have to? What what are we going to do that will make them change? They have the money, they have the control. So why would they change unless we make them? So I think I, I think a lot of people are kind of optimistic about how um, things will change after this. But I'm pessimistic. It doesn't mean I don't think nothing can change. I think things, I think society won't be the same, or and the, and the kind of reverberation of what's happening now, especially economically, will kind of continue for the next few years. But will these cult corporations change their behavior and the way they're acting and the way they um conduct business i doubt it unless we actively campaign and change the way we spend our money to go against corporations that will force them to change into the way that we like also i find it really shit but also i kind of get it that kind of youtube social media platforms of like our shadow banning and uh, videos that talk about this topic even me i'm saying this topic because i like i'm aware that youtube is doing that i just think that's a bit shit i mean i get what they're doing it is to stop the spread of fake news but at the same time like not even being able to call it what it is when talking to kind of your community and people that like engage with your content or just like people on the internet which is kind of all we have at the moment i think <clears throat> it's not really fair but what can i do about it i suppose um i mean i, I <laughs> um i don't know it's I just get really nervous. It's a trying time. It's a difficult time. It's a testing time. We know, we know, we know. And I think it's hard because people don't know what else to say. Ugh. Don't know what else to say. But for me, I'm just like, I am. Um, I think lots of people are just tired of talking about it, hearing about it, seeing it. Um, hence, I don't know why I'm doing this video. But I think for me, it was more. It's not just to talk about it. It's to talk about my feelings towards the kind of actual situation surrounding it not necessarily the not necessarily the virus itself um i don't know i don't know where we go from here i don't know what happens after this i don't know how long this will last i don't know if i doubt the government will get its act together and start protecting its its people um the support for people that are anything but permanently employed in an office job is not been ideal and i think it's been really hard because i think they've put really strict criteria on um who and what can like what support they can offer money wise for people and i think for people that kind of fall in between or like are missing one thing or another this can be really scary really weird and really just like feeling like you're just like okay uh, nothing then um but it's been really nice to see certain community especially in the creative community coming together and trying to support each other and lift each other up and kind of see those things happen and kind of be more digital and more accessible to people and the kind of online sharing that everyone's been providing for each other has been really really beautiful and i think i don't, I don't know why that wasn't happening before uh, i guess people didn't see the monetary value in it or maybe because people thought oh no no one will see it but now they're like oh everyone's online i might as well start pumping out my content now i don't know um i don't know my background looks different again i'm in my bedroom i keep just like filming in different locations i don't know why um I, I really want to do a house tour one day but i don't know if i can be bothered you know what i mean i think more than anything i just want to show you guys all of my prints like the one behind me the elephant one i love elephants oh my god 
um but yeah if anyone wants to like vent down below or just talk about how they're feeling and how kind of you feel like the world is handling the situation feel free to comment down below um and uh remember to like subscribe if you like my content like my face like my hair like my blinds whatever helps you feel like you want to subscribe feel free to subscribe i really appreciate it i have 125 subscribers who i love all individually and daily and i really appreciate you coming back and watching my content a little old i'm well, not little six foot two but like my little channel um which won't always be little in jesus name but i appreciate you every day you keep coming back love you loads um okay speak soon bye